What's shaking, guys? Luke Dancy here to bring you a magic review today of a piece of magic that is brand spanking new. That's right, I'm talking about Premiere from Nicholas Mavrisis and David Jonathan. And guys, let me tell you, this is absolutely amazing, and I have got it in my hands, and I cannot wait to tell you about it. Uh, we also have a close-up shot to show you, a little bit of an unboxing as well here, uh, and the box alone is beautiful. It is beautimous, if I do say so myself. So before we get into the unboxing, before I tell you a little bit more about the specifics, I want to tell you what the effect is if you don't know just yet. Basically, you have a series of envelopes. Uh, before you begin the effect, you talk about movies and how you're a fan of movies, and you want them to make the choice of the movie that they get to select. Uh, and so they get to pick one of the envelopes. It really is a free choice. And you slide out the card that's inside and show them that it's a specific movie. All right? All right. Now you bring out some tokens and you put the tokens on top of any one of the envelopes that they want. Again, a totally free choice every step of the way. They put the token on top of the envelope and then once they've done that, you've got all the tokens out, you dump out the card and the token for each one and without any switches, doing nothing at all, you turn over the token and it matches the movie exactly, each and every single one. If that wasn't enough, you then go one step further, you ask them to name the movie that they originally thought of at the beginning of the effect, and there is a kicker ending. So I'm not gonna tell you what the kicker is. I want you to see it. We're gonna put it here at the end of the video. You can watch the whole thing. Um, but let's just say I didn't see it coming the first time that I saw it. So as you can tell, it's not just one trick. This is multiple things going on. And I think it's only fitting that we jump on into a little bit of an unboxing. And I've already taken everything out of the box. Again, this is the box. And what you see now is exactly how everything comes in the box. Uh, you've got a couple of different sets of cards. Uh, I'm actually going to show you these. This is uh, one of the cards that represents the movies. You can see it's got um, the number one on it. And that's really important with this effect. And you'll see why once you learn more about what's going on here. Uh, I'm not going to show you too much about this. There's actually instructions. There's like a, a QR code there. But I thought it would only be fitting that I pop open the series of cards here for you uh, to take a peek on what they look like. Now, right away, I will let you know uh, that the quality of these, the size of these, uh, looks just like regular size playing cards that you're used to seeing. Uh, so each one, as I said, has a number associated with the movie. So this one, of course, is Eight Mile. Uh, we know that one. Uh, closer look at the back, by the way. Nothing too special about them. Just says cinema uh, on the back there. Uh, cinema, I think it says classics if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we have uh, a series of cards here uh, in our set and I don't want to show you too much about what's going on here. Uh, another one here, Toy Story 3, the number 3 is in there. Uh, this one is Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, you've got the number 2 in there. Uh, and of course we have the number one here for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. So you can see that the cards are very well designed. I believe it was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Phil Smith that designed the cards. Uh, and from what I understand, I was talking to Nicholas Mavrisis a couple days ago. He, he let me know the original concept from this came from him and then he collaborated with David Jonathan. So Nicholas had this crazy idea and then he collaborated with David and then they got Phil Smith involved to do some of the design stuff and you're now looking at a masterpiece here. So um, that is kind of the history and the origins of Premiere. But anyway, back to this shot. Uh, along with the multiple sets of cards that you get here, your instructions, of course, are digital. I'm not gonna show you the other side because it is a QR code. You also receive some envelopes. Uh, and the cool thing with the envelopes are they are designed to show you the different genres of movies. This is like horror movies. You know, you got the hand with the knife. Uh, you got the comedies, you know, a little comedy logo there. You've got the uh, paintbrush, more artistic type of movies. You have this creature, which looks more like a fantasy type of movie. Uh, and then you have music for like musicals and things like that. So these are the envelopes. They're black envelopes. I like that they have these different things, different colors, and they uh, are um, they have that nice kind of foil look to them. So they kind of pop. Uh, and nothing too special about these that I can tell you about. There is something special about them. But I can't tell you what that is, but these do play a part to the effect. The other thing that you do receive, um, there is something that goes here. I took that out because I don't want to ruin the method. I don't want to give away too much. Um, and then this is a closer look at the, uh, 
the little disc that you get, the little tokens, I think is what they call them. Each one has like a different kind of, you know, logo for movies. Of course, that's the, uh, the board, the clapboard. And then there's the number on the other side. Uh, this one has popcorn, like you go to the movies, have your popcorn, and you have the number seven. You know what's funny? The last time I went to the movies, I went to see John Wick 4, and waiting in line to get a snack, like popcorn, it was like 45 minutes. Have you ever had that happen to you? 45 freaking minutes. That's almost as long as some movies, almost. Not John Wick 4, it was like three hours, three hours. Anyway, uh, here's another one of the uh, tokens. Um, this one is, of course, the director's chair, and there's another number on the other side. And then this one is the classic, uh, the camera, and the number two. And then you also have the um, film, and you have a number on the other side of that. So that's what the tokens look like. And the nice thing is, these can be examined by the spectators. Um, once the effect's done, they can look at the, they can look at the uh, tokens, and you are good to go. Uh, the envelopes, again, not so much, um, but who cares? At the end of the effect, when you see that ending, you'll know why all the heat is on the tokens and not on the other stuff. So um, let's jump into a couple of really key points about this on why I think you're gonna like Premiere. No, 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 why I think you're gonna love it from the boys here, Nicholas and David. Uh, number one, it's so easy to do. There's like zero sleight of hand going on here. I mean, pretty much zero. Uh, there's like one thing you're doing to help make this happen, but it's like nothing, just like nothing, okay? Uh, so it's incredibly easy to do, and the props that you receive, not only are they beautiful and well done, but they're also doing most of the work for you. So that's a win, all right? Uh, thing number two here is that the uh, instructions go over everything as always. Uh, very detailed instructions, no stone is left unturned. So the teaching here is not just a quick little thing and you're left to kind of figure it out yourself. Teaching is fantastic, so that's great. The reset time is very short. You cannot do the reset in front of people. Not a big deal because this is more of a show piece that you're not just gonna like show me again, you know what I mean? Um, this is something that you can definitely uh, reset within about 30 seconds, but again, you don't wanna do it in front of your spectators, okay? Uh, and you will need a table to perform this on. Uh, or at least some type of surface to perform it on, to lay the things down, okay? So when it comes to performing situations, you will need somewhere to put the stuff, okay? Because you are, of course, laying down the envelopes, you're laying down the tokens, and everything happens, of course, on that surface. So you do want to have somewhere to perform the stuff on, all right? Uh, as far as other details that I could tell you about it, uh, let me look at one of the most important parts uh, of this, and that is the price tag. The price tag on this is $45, so 45 bucks for Premiere, uh, which is actually, when you, when you look at the props that are included, you look at how everything works, the quality is here. I honestly expected this to be more than that. I expected it to be quite a bit more than the $45 price tag, so that's a win as well, so yeah. Uh, the only other thing I could think about is, you know, people would ask me is, Luke, what about, you know, the angles? This is just one of those things that you want to just perform with people in front of you. There's like nothing going on behind you, but if, if they're behind you, they're not going to see the trick. Um, but there's not like any bad angles really for this. You just want to make sure everyone can see what's going on uh, in front of you. So this is kind of short and sweet. Um, would I recommend this to you? A thousand percent. This is so smart. The method the methods involved, there's not just one method, there's multiple things going on here. They're all very, very smart. And the effect itself is very much like a movie where you have the beginning, you have the middle, and then you have that in night Shyamalan kind of like kicker ending that they never see coming. And that's what this trick has too. So Premiere gets two thumbs ups from this guy. Uh, I think it's fantastic. Uh, of course, if you have any other questions about it, feel free to post them below in the comments. I'd be more than happy to help you out. And they do stay in the ad copy. You know, you can perform this in multiple situations, close up, parlor, or even on stage. Obviously, if you're gonna do this on stage, you might wanna have a camera and the monitors behind you to see what's going on, but that's that. All right, that is our quick review of Premiere from Nicholas Maversus and David Jonathan. And if you'd like to pick it up, we do have the link in the description down here underneath this video for you. So click that or head on over to allthingsmagic.com for Premiere or any of the magic tricks you're looking for that are handpicked that are vetted and the best of the best stuff. We only stock the good stuff and we're proud of that. 
and this one we're proud to have in stock for you. All right, my friends, if you like this video, well, let me know. Drop some love below the video, and also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to our channel. We'd appreciate the support. We're definitely trying to grow, and we can't do that, obviously, without you. That is the review for Premiere. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, again, if you got any other questions, let us know, all right? That's it for now. I will see you next time right here for more All Things Magic. Until next time, my friends, catch you later. See ya. The twist ending. Like in any good movie, when you watch it back with a change of perspective, you see that there were clues hidden all along and then everything comes together. And this is my surprise ending. Holy, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you. I'm gonna need a minute, guys.